Hey, what's up, guys? It's big bro Lamar Ludi coming to you as a talking head today. And as always, I got my little bro Logan Ludi rolling with me. We're ready to hit up this Ahsoka Tano four-episode story arc uh, where she's dealing with the Martez sisters out there in the Clone Wars, uh, episodes four or five through eight, five through nine, something like that. Some count like that. Yeah. Uh, we have some we have some issues with this story arc, but there was actually some good stuff. Uh, me and Lil Bro came up with some good stuff to talk about. Lil Bro, why don't we hit him with the issues we had first, and then we'll see if we can tie in the, the good stuff, the good stuff from this Ahsoka story arc. What you think? All right, well, first and foremost, I do not like the Martez sisters at all. I think they're really, really old. The younger one's really stupid, that's for sure. Like the, her decision making is just awful, and it's not yeah. really um, something a normal person would do. Yeah, I just I don't I I didn't really like any of these episodes at all. I really was just like, oh my god, can we just get on with this? Can, mm-hmm. And I should have shortened it to like two episodes, and maybe did a little mini arc in between, like mm-hmm. with somebody else. But um, you know, I feel like if if they would have introduced those two characters earlier on in the Clone Wars. Um, even with the same type of story arc, if they would have introduced them earlier on, it would have been more palatable. Having to um, deal with them, watching them. But the fact that they're bringing them in and then devoting so much time to them during the final season of Clone Wars, I think that's the real issue. That's the real yeah. issue here, is the fact that you're spending a lot of time with these characters who, you know, for for the most part, they're, they're really not going to move the story along too much at all. And uh, why? Why did we choose to go this route? Why are we dedicating so much screen time to them? What is the true purpose of having a story arc like this at this critical stage of the game, the final season of Clone Wars with so much going on in the galaxy? Why? That's my question. I mean, I don't, I don't have any answer for it. I don't have any answer for it, do you? No, I mean, the only reason it's in there to let us know what Ahsoka was doing when she left the Jedi, but... Mm-hmm. I mean, there's not really, like there's there's bits and pieces here and there, but uh, you know, there's not much, not really much going on. I mean, Ahsoka's running around getting into trouble with these other two characters, mm-hmm. but uh, they're not doing anything that important yeah. at all. If anything, the only thing that I could think if I'm really reaching and I'm like reaching, I'm scratching my head trying to pull this stuff out. If I'm really gonna reach for it, we get to see Ahsoka doing battle without her lightsabers. So that's mm-hmm. kind of cool. We, we see that she's got some extensive hand-to-hand um, combat training and we get to see her using the force in a way, you know, people, a lot of times people might think like, oh, a Jedi or Sith, they can only use their lightsaber. That's the only way they're effective. Um, but it's actually not true. So yeah. if, if, if we're reaching for something there. Now, the only thing that I think is a saving grace for these four episodes is the fact that Ahsoka gets to see how the rest of the galaxy views the Jedi. Because she's still naive in thinking that everybody's on the side of the Republic, thinking that everybody agrees with the way the Jedi handle their business. And that's probably the only thing that I, the only main takeaway that I can have from this uh, four four episode uh, story arc is that no, she's actually learning the truth. There's a lot of people out there that have issues with the Jedi. So, so what do you think about about my viewpoint on that? I mean, yeah, you're right. That's that's the only you know takeaway. We get to learn what other people think of the Jedi and like Martez sisters. Uh, you know, a Jedi. I mean, she didn't intentionally do it. Killed their uh, killed their parents. Uh, I mean, by trying to uh, making a choice between um, having uh, that little transport hit uh, like thousands of people or just you know uh, two in that case. Mm-hmm. So and then. Um, they, the Martessas were left with, well, the Jedi didn't really care um, that they just killed our parents. Right, and right. That, like, and, you know, Ahsoka just realizes that um, the Jedi are not as, I guess, good. Yeah. In a lot of people's eyes um, <laughs> than she is. And she and she says, like, you know, you act like, it, it's like, um, you act like a Jedi and all that other stuff, like, before they even, she, they even know that she was a Jedi. Yeah. Well, she still had that. Well, I mean, the the thing is, is when you're a Jedi, you're indoctrined. You know, you're indoctrined into their way of yes, yes, you are indoctrined because you're taken at a young age. 
we're, we're going to hit up a video on this. We're going to hit up a video on this, folks. So make sure you tune in. Big bro, little bro going to war with each other. But you are indoctrinated because you're taking at a young age and you think that our way is the only way. And that is that is something that the Jedi do feel. And that's, you know, one of the reasons why they ended up falling here, you know, with Order 66 on the horizon. That's one of the reasons why they end up falling here. But, um, yeah, to, to your point where you were saying about the transport and that it was a Jedi's fall, I actually, I, I do like that aspect of it because once again, they're going full circle with some of the Clone Wars content and they're tying that back into the Cad Bane breakout way back in, uh, help me out here, little bro. What season was that? The Cad Bane breakout with uh, Zero was like season two, season three, something like yeah, that? Yeah, no, it was, then, it was yeah. end of season one. Oh, end of season one. So, I mean, we're talking about an, an incident that happened very early on in Clone Wars. And here we are, you know, uh, six, six seasons later, and they're tying that together. I do like the fact that they did something like that. I always like it when Star Wars interconnects its storylines. I always like that. I, I always uh, find that intriguing, and I think that's the way to go when you have such a big galaxy. Show show how the events from one uh, area are affecting these things over here that we don't even realize and we don't even know about. So I do feel like that was the main thing that added some depth to the characters, um, to the two sisters. But aside from that, I don't feel that there was much else uh, for me to grab onto in these four episodes. Um, yeah. And I know that you and I have a disagreeing, you know, disagreement on this, and it's going to come out when we finally do our sit down and do our video on it, which is going to be a lot of fun. But. Um, I feel like I'm glad because it proves that, you know, the Jedi are not infallible. This, this, this proves it. And, and, you know, they're, they have this line of thinking that, you know, they're, they're high and mighty somewhat sitting up there in their throne room on Coruscant and, and it's yeah, coming how, out. You know? how, how about someone else, huh? Someone else feels high and mighty sitting on their throne on Coruscant too. Yeah. Huh? Well, hey, that, that, that's true. And, and we go and get into it. We're going to get into it. But um, as far as the Jedi go, and, and in this in this instance, you know, it's important for them to to see. And, and that for Ahsoka Tano's character to continue to evolve, she had to get out from that temple and she had to see how the rest of the galaxy, you know, not only is living, but also their viewpoint on the Jedi. Um. But to tie it all back to what we started off with at the beginning of this video, you don't need four episodes to do that. You don't need four episodes to do that. And especially not in um, season seven, the, the final uh, season for Clone Wars. I don't, I, I, that's that's my personal belief. I don't know, mm -hmm. little bro, what, what do you think about that? What do you feel about that? I mean, well, like you said, I mean, when when, when it was pronounced that it was only gonna be a 12 episode season, we get, get to the Bad Batch arc, then we got these four episodes of Ahsoka, people were more in, more with, Basically, I've heard uh, people skipping these four episodes and just waiting for the last four to come out <laughs> because because of how bad or bad they were. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I mean, the only the only reason I would uh, suggest, uh, suggest watching it because there are uh, little key scenes that you should be aware of um, for the last four episodes. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, uh, it's not great. Give me, give I'm me, pumped. give me one of those key scenes. Give me one of those key scenes that. Oh you well, a key scene is you know Darth Maul, um, uh, Darth Maul transmission on uh, Obadiah where he's talking about uh, talking to uh, his uh, one of his uh, syndicate members mm -hmm. and uh, Ahsoka overhearing it and wondering why he's on Mandalore and then her running into uh, 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 the Mandalorian Bo-Katan and uh, mm -hmm. her asking for her help go to Mandalore and help her liberate it. So that's basically, but, I mean, that's the last, that was yeah. in the final episode of the story arc. Yeah. yeah. There was, there was another uh, scene where we have a, uh, almost a recreation of Return of the Jedi where uh, Anakin senses Ahsoka flying away, mm -hmm. almost similar to Darth Vader sensing Luke when they're going to Endor. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then even then, that that scene of uh, of Anakin feeling Ahsoka is also reminiscent of the scene in um, Rebels, 
where uh, Darth Vader is flying up and his son oh, yeah. is on the ship and then they sense each other and then he's like, oh, the apprentice uh, still lives. You know, so that was, that's another, you know, callback to to that for me. Uh, that's that's something I, I felt. All right, little bro. Hey, well, why don't you get us up out of here, man? Get us up out of here. We talked about these this All right. four, uh, four episodes enough. Get us out of this. Get us out of here. All right. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us once again. Uh, these, these four episodes were not good in summary. We're more excited to get to our reviews for these last four. This is the important stuff now. So please, please stay tuned for that. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. We're trying to get to 100. That's our first goal. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. See you guys.